Hello everyone, welcome back to Rosie's Reviews. I'm going to be making a small pause at the beginning of the video to show you how we play this puzzle and I'll be explaining the details later in the video. Frog. Frog. Let's look for the letter F. F. Yay! Abaca. Hmm. All right, so you caught us playing a little bit of it. So how I'm playing with him is I'm just giving him naming the name, uh, for example, alligator, chicken, tiger, and then telling him the letter he, su he should search for and maybe the color. So then I left him a little bit alone and he was able to find himself and actually play a little bit by himself and learn different words. Um, and what I like about it that I'll be showing you later in the video is that the back of these puzzles, it actually has the word. So for example, if you're not sure what one animal is you turn it around and it has the word on its back so i thought that was pretty clever i was like how come i didn't notice that at the beginning but i'll be showing you that at the end of the video when we're almost done um just to give you a heads up and a description of the toy of the puzzle all right so like i said before this is for ages two and up and it's a great interaction tool um just to learning and expanding vocabulary my nephew right now he's four but we don't buy him a lot of educational toys we buy him a lot of like cars and different things but not a lot of educational toys so that's something that we should be you know doing from ages two to three up just so get him ready for preschool and kindergarten so this is a great tool um, this is something that i would advise to get just because it's it's fun and you can always interact and invite maybe a cousin and have a play date all right so if you're interested in this puzzle in this educational toy make sure you click the link down below it will take you directly to the page of the product all you have to do is add to cart and check out and you'll get it in a couple of days all right so Make sure you follow me on Rosie's Reviews, official on Instagram, on YouTube, Rosie's Reviews. Make sure you hit the link to be notified once I upload a video and just let me know your thoughts on it. I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you found this review helpful. And make sure to keep up with your kids' educational um, vocabulary and make them have active conversations with you in whatever language you choose. Like I said, I teach my nephew both English and Spanish. So sometimes he has a little bit of uh, trouble understanding English or Spanish because we we speak to him in both languages. Um, so this is what I was talking to you about the beginning of the video, how the word is on the back of the puzzle. So it has a letter T and then in the back it has the what it is for. So in case you're not sure what animal it is, you can turn it around and tell your toddler, hey, this is a unicorn. So uh, this, these are just um, some of the examples. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.